Hi, my name is Kale, but I would like to show you Kudo Robot. Okay. You want to put it down on the table and show me? Can you tell me about the different parts on Q? Did you build this? Mm -hmm. Okay, and we used a kit from EEME. -E -E -M -E. Okay, and they, so everything that we needed came in the box. And then we had step by step instructions on the computer that we could log in to look at. So, Kayla, do you want to tell me what the different parts of Q are here? The breadboard, the battery pack, the motors, and then the switch. Okay. So why are there two motors on? Because the third one will just spin in circles. Okay. So you have, I see you have, you have it labeled R and L. What does that mean? So you don't get the wires mixed up and you don't get confused on which wire goes where. Okay. So you have a right motor and a left motor. Okay. Do you remember here what these, let's turn this around a little bit. On the front, you have two little eyes, two little funny eyes. What are those called? The photoreceptors. Photoreceptors, right. And what do those photoreceptors do? When light shines on it, it spins the motors. Okay, so you have two. The right one here, well, like if we're looking here at the right one, which wheel spin, does the right one spin? This one spins the right one. The, Okay. It, and then this one spins the wheel. So they spin the opposite wheels. Mm -hmm. Now, do the wheels spin in the same direction? No. How come? Because if they did, it would just spin in circles. It would spin in circles. So they have to spin in opposite directions, right? Do you want to grab the flashlight really quick? And can you show us here how Q works? What happens? Is the flashlight working? You... <laughs> there you go. Try that. Okay, so now when you shine the light on it, we put the shades down in the room so that it would darken it up a little bit. Can you make it turn without falling off the table? Ooh, that was close. So by shining it on one receptor versus the other, it helps it go straight or turn a little bit, right? Very cool. And this took you... He did this over the course of about four days. Can you bring the robot over here? And with it, he built he built it in about 10 steps at a time or so. And it maybe took about, some of the steps took about three minutes. Some took a little bit longer, but doing 10 steps a day. So he worked on it for about 30 minutes, almost 30 minutes every day. And we did have a little bit of an issue, not their fault, totally our fault, correct? because we put wires in the wrong thing. So he tried to pay attention. You can kind of see that it teaches the kids about breadboards and learning how circuits work and completing circuits. So this is the entire robot. You can look at eeme.co for more information, or you can visit homeschoolcreations.net and find out more on the robot and how we built it.